Hi everyone, I'm Loretta and I'm the creative director of the Your Food Story Project and author of Your Canadian Food Story. And I am pleased once again to be able to introduce you to one of the contributors, one of the 113 contributors in the Your Canadian Food Story book. So Stacy, welcome. Thank you. So good to be able to see so many um, people face to face. And I know I've had the pleasure of actually uh, kind of rubbing shoulders with you as a, a person who kind of lives in my area. So why don't you tell us where that could be? So where do you currently live? And why would we maybe want to come and visit your community specifically oh. or the area? Okay, so I live in Fort Saskatchewan in the province of Alberta, and we have sheep as our claim to fame. <laughs> Every spring they bring sheep in, and our sheep mow the lawns for us in the public spaces, and uh, that's a big claim to fame. Plus, we just built a new port, and Fort Saskatchewan also has summer festivals and we have this great business um, community. We have a farmer's market every week and a downtown market, a brand new market all summer. And our downtown is great. I'm actually at our local coffee house, Kinney's. It's an independently run organization. This uh, Renee runs it and she has great coffee and treats and milkshakes and stuff. Oh, that is so good. I've forgotten about those um, those uh, friendly lawn mowers. Those, that, that oh, is yeah. the kids awesome love it. Program. When yeah. my kids were young, they'd go feed the sheep, and, they're, and there's a big parade to welcome them into town every spring. And <laughs> it's a really small city, but it's a friendly place to live. That is so good. And, and for anyone who uh, would like to know where Fort Saskatchewan is in relationship to Edmonton, it's one of the communities just outside of Edmonton, kind of like northeast of, of Edmonton. So it's excellent. Great. So what drew you to this project? Like what? really had you say, okay, I'm on board, I want to be part of this, and now it's a book. Uh, I love to cook, and I love to share my love of cooking and feeding people, and I love to tell the story about how food kind of happens to be some of the favorites in our family. I, um, I make my business teaching people how to cook, look, teaching them about nutrition, walking into their kitchens if they need help, getting a handle on their cooking. And I just, I really love watching people experience the joy that food gives me. So that's kind of why I wanted to be part of your book. So my, my little recipe can be, you know, in lots of people's hands because it's just really yummy. <laughs> oh, and I am so looking forward to everybody wanting to make this recipe. So Speaking of recipe and story, 102 is Stacy's story, and on page 103 of the book is the recipe. And that's about all I'm going to do as, as a teaser for folks, except it does include some really wonderful local berries. Why this story and why this recipe? You are in the food um, industry. You you make food, and I'm sure you've had a few that you could have picked. But why this? And was there anything else that kind of was on the short list when you were thinking about what you would uh, contribute? I picked this particular food because a it's something that's found really only in a couple of provinces here in Western Canada, and I chose it because. Uh, the nutrition that you get from this particular food is really exciting and important to me and everybody needs more of it. And the story is because my brother and I, we were pretty close when we were growing up and I just wanted to kind of give a nod to him. Now we're both grown ups, we both have families of our own, but this is something we did together when we were children and I just really wanted to share that story. And you're Does that hitting, answer your question? Yeah, you're hitting on um, so many parts and pieces of the story, which really represents um, wh why this book was written, and, and that is that nourishing part. And so you're touching in on that importance of uh, the relationship you had and have with your brother, and how through the okay, we we should we should tell the folks, hey, what kind of what kind of berry is, is involved here? Go ahead, tell the people. Uh, Saskatoon berries. And so they're found in Western Canada, in Saskatchewan and Alberta. 
and um, they're found wild and they are so prolific. You can find them just about down every river trail if you're walking through the green belts anywhere. They grow in your backyard really nicely. It's actually on our list this year is to grow, plant a couple of those and start growing some Saskatoon for ourselves. So you're having um, your family now involved, uh, it sounds like, when it comes to the uh, whole experience of knowing where your food comes from and, and getting out there and making sure that that's part of their, their, their experience, their own food story. And uh, what other ways do you um, include your family or have them know through where their food comes from and because I know you're in the business of, of, of um, making meals so you could speak to that too as, as part of your answer so how do you get your kids involved um, uh, in the food making process it's actually funny you asked me that because I am doing this as a business and I, this is my life and I love it so much sometimes it's hard to let go of that control in the kitchen and so only in the last couple of months, let's be honest, the last month, I've, I've informed my family that they need to start cooking once a week. Uh, so my oldest, he's cooking dinner tonight. And I don't ever say, you can't cook that. Um, he gets to pick the recipe. He gets to research it. He gets to make sure we have the ingredients or put it on the list if we don't. And my husband also has started cooking for the same reasons because I – do love it and I am so good at it but it's a life skill that everybody needs to have and so um, it takes a little bit of stress off of my shoulders if there's a couple of nights a week where I can sit back and be fed by other people <laughs> um, and you know it might not be the stuff I would choose but that's kind of I don't want to attach judgment or love to the food that we're eating I, I don't want my kids to feel like if they don't like what I cook that I don't love them I don't want them to feel that I'm judging them for their taste buds by the same token, when they cook for me, it is an act of love, but even if it's not something I would make, I am grateful and I love them for making me dinner. Does that make sense? It, it, it really makes sense. It's, it's what I think is, is part of, of um, them, of course, expressing themselves and you, as you mentioned, releasing that control because they've got their own unique um, tastes and all of these different senses that really speaks to them and that's validating yeah. their uniqueness and it's something I actually made sure that was spoken to in the book so it's 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 extremely important for us to all no matter what age to be able to feel comfortable and um, adding and infusing yeah. our own our own selves into the meal we prepare or even, you know, the meal is already prepared, but maybe there's a few other condiments on the table. So maybe people will be sprinkling on some other herb or something like that, just because we're all unique. And it definitely is, again, celebrating the family and it is nourishing those relationships. And it's a physical and a, an emotional and I feel also a spiritual um, uh, growth as well as a family. So, so you're, we've been talking about giving hints about your business. And so why not share the name of your business and what, to, what kind of hats do you wear in that business and um, where we can. I'm, I'm a solopreneur. So it's just me. Um, I'm the meals maven. So anywhere online, if you search for me on social media, I'm at the meals maven. That's my handle. And uh, I am owner of what they get from me. Okay. So um, my handle online is at the Meals Maven. And I chose Maven because a maven is someone who's an expert in her field. And cooking has been something I've loved and, and been really working and striving towards being better at for the last 15 years. So having 15 years of experience kind of put me in this field, I believe, of being I'm an expert in what I do and helping people learn to be able to control their kitchens and, and take advantage of all that we have to offer us when it comes to eating at home rather than eating out. You are absolutely a needed and needed service. And I know I've said that to you before a few times. And there is um, an overwhelm 
that people can experience. Um, clearly, when, yeah, when they're juggling um, those balls and the work-life balance kind of thing. And there is nothing wrong, everyone, to, to ask for help. And someone like Stacy definitely has the skills and, and the, the know-how. And you don't have to live in Edmonton or Fort Saskatchewan to be able to connect with her, clearly. She has really. um, links and she's got social media, um, like Facebook page, etc. And so there are ways to, to really connect and get some good information. And, and uh, you can definitely contact her. So Stacy, is there any other um, things that you would like to share when it comes to what you do or any other passions or projects? I know you gave a shout out for the uh, local coffee cup, uh, coffee shop that you're, you're at. Um, is there anything else that you would like to, to share? And then we can make sure we post those links as well. Um, <laughs> well, Port Saskatchewan um, is it's just a really great community to grow up in. And my kids are having, you know, they have, I think they're very fortunate to be here. And as a community, we have an organization called the Families First Society, which operates uh, across the board at helping families we work together to help people find the support services that they need or um, any of the, they have parenting classes and they have uh, places especially where childcare provided so parents can go and learn skills and, and help themselves uh, with professionals who are just, they're just a really great organization, I guess. And I'm actually community kitchens facilitator with this organization. So if you are in the area, you can go to their website. It's familiesforsociety.ca and you can go online and see what programs and services they offer because being a parent and is, is not always the easiest thing, but there are so many people out there that want to help and support you. So please come and to their website and check them out and see if there's anything that you can, that you need to work with. And if you are in the area, Community Kitchens is a fantastic program. I get to help people learn how to cook and take meals home. So, I mean, it's like the perfect fit for me. <laughs> yes, that is, that is such a good um, resource that you're, you're talking about. And, and uh, yes, everyone check out this, um, this, this, this support because you don't have to be alone to, to know what to eat and, 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 when I now refer back to the book, and that is one of the reasons why I um, curated the uh, stories and um, authored this book is so that people like yourself, Stacy, and anyone, everyone who's watching, that we all are in this together and we all have these uh, ways to, to connect, sure, over food, because guess what, we eat every day. Um, but that we, we're, we're not alone and we can learn from each other. Speaking of the book, everyone, again, where do you find it? Where do you buy it? In the website that you're currently on, there will be a, an area where it says something like buy the book here or the book is available on amazon.ca, amazon.com. And locally in the Edmonton area, there there will be added to the list where you can find the book on store shelves. And I'm also working with other distributors across Canada. So it's pretty exciting. So come back to this website often because we're going to have a lot more content being um, uploaded and created. And you'll meet more people like Stacy, who is part of the book project and other people who would like to share a little bit about themselves. And perhaps you'd be interested in, in being part of this, um, maybe another food story book. So Absolutely. I say, um, I think you got it in you. <laughs> Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. And, and I know it's so, so exciting. And I, and I thank you, Stacy, for being with us today. So thanks, Stacy. Nice to see you. Take care. And uh, bye everyone and have a good rest of your day and come back often. Bye-bye.